the very first chemical weapon was chlorine, which is a choking agent. And uh, it was designed more of an incapacitant than a killer. Although it did kill in, in great numbers, it was first used at Ypres in 1915 uh, and was hugely effective because it was completely new, but they were fairly basic agents. It was then very closely followed by mustard agent, AKA mustard gas, and this caused massive blisters on exposed skin. The original idea was to create casualties. If you create a casualty, then you tie soldiers into looking after them. It wasn't um, until much later that nerve agents were developed by the Nazis. I mean, nerve agents are organophosphates, pesticides, uh, and the Germans were originally looking at pesticides. They then realized that these nerve agents they'd be producing, Tabun and Soman were the first ones, were incredibly effective at killing people. They were used very widely in the Iran-Iraq War, 1984 to 1988. And of course, the attack on Halabja in uh, the 16th of March, 1988, sticks in a lot of people's minds, where 5,000 people were killed in a day. We've seen over a thousand uses of chemical weapons in Syria alone since then. Of, and the so-called Islamic State use chemical weapons extensively against the Peshmerga, who I've been advising. And actually, I was with the Peshmerga near Mosul uh, 18 months ago when uh, so-called Islamic State fired chlorine mortar rounds at us. And at the moment, we're in a position where chemical weapons are proliferated. We've seen a chemical weapons attack in Salisbury. And unless we do something demonstrative about it, we've got to expect proliferation more around the world.